Do you want to add text to your videos and animate it like this? I can show you how. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. The InShot video editor was updated so that now you can include text animation in your videos. Although you can add text to photos, you can only add text animation to videos. If you want to add text animation to a slideshow, you have to convert it into a video first. Open InShot and add a video clip as usual. To speed up processing time, choose the shortest video clip you can. Once you've selected a video clip, it will load. Let's add and format some text. Tap the T to bring up the keyboard. You will see a text box in the middle of the video screen. Type the text that you want to place on top of the video here. Don't worry about the format just yet. If you pinch and zoom the text box using two fingers, you can resize the text. Pinch and zoom to make the text larger or smaller. The arrow in the bottom right hand corner will also rotate the text. Tap the color wheel to change the color. Make sure text is selected and then tap through each of the colors. There's way too many to demonstrate each one. You can change the color of the text, border, shadow, or label. Just select each text option as needed. Below the color palette, you will see a grouping of boxes. This will allow you to change how the text looks. For example, you can make the text look like that or that. Just choose the one that looks best to you. I like the first one. To change the font, tap the A and choose one of the available fonts. I like permanent marker. Then tap the check mark. Next, you'll need to choose how long you want the text to appear on screen. To do this easily, long press on either one of the arrows and choose video end or end of clip. Do the same thing for the beginning. You can manually adjust this by long pressing on either arrow and dragging it to the desired position. Once you're satisfied, play the video to see how the text will look. It is just going to appear on the screen and then disappear at the end point. It may take some time to get the end and beginning positions just right. That's okay. You can scrub through the footage. That looks good right there. You can delete the text by tapping on the red X. The text is now gone. If you want to add text again without typing it, just tap the T 
and you will see a little clock above the check mark. Tap that clock. Here you will find all the text you've added. Tap the text you want to add and it will be replaced. Let's animate some text. I've loaded in a new video clip, created some text, formatted and positioned it in the video. Play the video so the text appears on screen. Tap the pencil and select edit. Now you can also double tap text to edit it. Do you see that moving icon next to the font icon? That was added yesterday. Tap it to animate the text and choose from one of the available transitions. There are no super transitions as this feature was just added yesterday. You'll notice that the word in is selected. This transition will happen when the text comes into the scene. Choose a transition to control how the text goes out of the scene select the word out and choose another transition. When you're satisfied, tap the check mark. As you can see, I've already got the beginning and end positions set. Play the video to see how the animation will look. To save your video clip, tap the share Icon. Tab save and processing will begin. Do not lock the screen or switch between apps while this is happening. If you do, the video may not save. When processing is complete, you can find the video in your video library and you can use it in any project. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos suggested on screen. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.